new here welcome welcome make sure you for make sure you don't forget to subscribe and yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update it's been one week since i've been in california and let me tell you this was a journey okay this whole assignment was crazy everything went really really fast and um yeah, I'm just giving you guys an update. So I got to uh, Sacramento. So the ad that I applied to, the advertisement that I applied to said that this was a Northern California crisis response. So in my head, when I read that, I thought it was like a lot of COVID, you know, people were sick. Um, and that's all true. People are still sick. People still are testing positive for COVID. But I thought it was going to be at like a field hospital. I thought I was going to be at like a field hospital, you know what I mean, treating COVID. Um, when I got to Sacramento, I, I got here December 16th. I flew into Sacramento and I was supposed to start on the 18th. My recruiter had no information for me. I even the day that I flew in, there was no information. Um, I didn't know where I was gonna be. Uh, I, I thought initially I was gonna be at the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento, which is a field hospital for, you know, overflow um, when the, the hospitals get too crowded. And then the day of actually, the day of my start date or the night before my start date, I was told that I have to go to Reading, which is two hours from Sacramento. So I drove to Reading. Still, all I knew was that I was going to Reading, um, to a hospital in Reading. Um, drove to Reading, rented a, a hotel room in Reading. And then I got another email saying, be at the hospital at one o'clock for orientation. So did all that. Um, my hotel experience was horrible. Like you can hear everything, people walking around, kids crying, doors slamming, people fighting. So that was a bad experience. Um, but I finally got settled at the hospital I was supposed to be at in Reading. Um, I've been so far in the emergency room I've been on some med surge floors, PCU, um, a floor called ACE. Um, yeah, and I've just been learning so much. I do appreciate the experience, but when they said crisis response, when my recruiter said this was a crisis response, it's a crisis as far as like, staffing goes not as far as covid so i'm not really taking care of a lot of covid people or covid patients i'm just there to fill in the needs with staffing because a lot of nurses are out sick a lot of nurses are quitting um so that's our role for being here i met like five other girls all from the east coast which was nice um my first week here I, let me say this about travel nursing. I think the hardest thing is finding housing. So if you are interested in getting into a travel assignment, my advice to you is to give yourself enough time to research the area, research um, different places that you can stay, uh, and just research the area. Because the first hotel that I stayed at was horrible and I just kept searching, searching, searching on Airbnb. And then I finally used the website that another YouTuber um, suggested, Furnish Finder. And I found a nice cute apartment. It's nothing fancy, but it's real cute and, and cozy. A lot of privacy for about $50 a night. So the whole time I'm here, I don't have to move anymore, which is great. Um, I moved from the hotel into this apartment and it's amazing. It's amazing. 
Um, I'm so thankful that I found it because I'm saving so much money. I get $200 a day just for housing. And if I'm staying $50 a night here, then that's $150 in my pocket, which it was exactly what I was looking for. Um, like I said, it's nothing too fancy, but it's cute. It's cozy. It's just what I needed. It's a lot of privacy. Um, there's a kitchen where I can cook food, and that was a big issue. That that first week that I was in Redden, I was staying at the, the Red Roof Inn, and there's no stove. There's no kitchen. I'm eating out every day. I gain weight. <laughs> like I'm gaining weight. Um, yeah, so... It wasn't a pleasant experience. I was so happy. At first, I thought Furnish Finder was a, like a scam. It looked like it because not a lot of people um, made reviews on the, the apartments, but it was really worth the money. Um, I paid $16.50 for the whole month to stay here. And if I extend the same thing, which is a huge savings, uh, if I would have stayed at like the Marriott or something, uh, uh, a better hotel it would have cost me like 133 dollars a night even with my employee discount so you know what i mean this was really beneficial for me so my tip for you if you are interested in getting into travel um give yourself enough time to research the areas and look for an apartment um i think that's the better way to go if you want to save money um use the website and furnish finder you can use Facebook and Craigslist, um, Airbnb too, but it's hit or miss with that. Uh, it depends on the area because I'm in Redding. It's a really small town in California and not a lot of people was running out Airbnbs. Like it, it wasn't a lot of options. So my, my advice is to do your research before you get started do your research do your research and give yourself enough time this assignment went so fast like i did everything within two weeks handed in submitted all the paperwork that i needed my physical my chest x-ray my immunizations um all the things that you all the credentials that you need bef before you get started with a travel agency i did that within like two days i took my drug test and and then I had to find housing and then not having clarity of where I'm going to be. Like, it was just crazy. But now I finally feel settled. And yeah, I'm going to make the best of while I'm here. Um, there is option. There is an option to extend, which I don't think I'm going to extend because I'm a little homesick. But yeah, I just been rocking it out. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of the apartment. And... Yeah, let's get into it. All right, y'all, come on and check out the crib. said it's nothing too special um it's just right for me what i needed um it's a lot of privacy it's quiet and i can cook my own food so that's really what i was looking for so thank y'all for watching don't forget to like this video and i will do another video of my midpoint update and to let you guys know how things are and i'm gonna do a breakdown of my first paycheck so look out for those videos and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, peace y'all.